But tonight is raising somebody. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. We are in tonight for a visitation from heaven. A visitation by the word of the Lord. A visitation by the communion table. Lift up your voice and let God hear your voice tonight. Begin to express your desire before him tonight. Lord Jesus, I'm not going back the same way I came in tonight. I must be taught by your word and I must be touched by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your voice to heaven. Lift up your voice to heaven. Let God hear you tonight. They ask of me. Ask of me. Ask for that deliverance tonight. For the healing tonight. Via the table and via the word of the Lord. Say something to the Lord this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight is my night. Lift up your voice. Tonight is my night. I'm not going the same way I came. Lord, visit me tonight. Visit me tonight by your word. By your word and by the communion table. Blessed shall be your name. Give him praise. Lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your voice to heaven. Magnify him and wave your hands up to him. Father, thank you. Blessed shall be your name. He has heard us and he has answered. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. Please celebrate Jesus tonight as we welcome the praise him to take us further.
down together for Jesus and please you may be seated. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. We'll begin our intercession tonight as we pray in this manner. Father, by the blood of the Lamb, give us the healing for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond. A louder amen. Psalm 2 and verse 8, ask of me and I shall give thee the healing for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Please let's rise. Together let's pray. Father, by the blood of the Lamb, give us the healing for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice everyone and together let's go before the Lord tonight with fervency of heart. Almighty God, by the blood of the Lamb, give us the heathen for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession. 
all through this month and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Let's pray with the whole of our heart tonight. Let's call upon the name of Jesus, the name that can never fail. Father, by the blood of the Lamb, give us the easy for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up our voice unto you, Almighty God, tonight. Hear us and hearken unto us. By the blood of the Lamb, give us the heathen for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession. All through this month and beyond, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is what we ask of you tonight, O Lord God. Almighty God, by the blood of the Lamb, give us the evening for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be our God and our King. Lord, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, give us the evening for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond in the mighty name of jesus christ let your voice be registered in heaven tonight pray with the whole of your heart pray with the whole of your heart. pray with all fervency tonight pray with all fervency tonight pray with the assurance of answer that as we ask him he will do unto us therefore our god and our king by the blood of the lamb give us the evening for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this answer to every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. O our God and our King, by the blood of the Lamb, give unto us the heaven for our inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We lift up our voice unto you tonight, O Lord God of heaven. Hear us and knocking unto us. Hear us and knocking unto us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give to us the hidden for our inheritance as we have said in your word and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond, in the name of Jesus Christ, our eyes are on to you tonight, O Lord God. Our eyes are on to you tonight, O Lord God. Give here and hearken unto us, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask of you tonight, Almighty God, by the blood of the Lamb, that you give unto us the heathen for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession all through this month and beyond it. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your hands to him. He has heard us. He said, pray your hands to God. Jesus, we give you praise. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. Next tonight we shall be praying and we shall be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new convert back to the world. Say louder, Amen. amen. John chapter four, chapter ten, verse twenty-eight. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Shall we rise? Lift our voice unto the Father and pray this prayer tonight that must be answered. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new convert back to the world. In the name of Jesus. Let's rise against them right now. Let's rise and come against every power of hell. That want to draw any of our new convert back to the world. Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new converts back to the world. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. God has given them to us. No one will be able to draw them back to the world. We come against every activities of hell, every kingdom of darkness that want to draw any of our new converts back to the world. We come against them right now by the blood of Jesus. Let's rise against them right now. Let's pray this prayer with faith, with fervency tonight. Let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new converts back to the world. We come against them by the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray tonight and come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new converts back to the world. Father, we come against them in the name of Jesus. Those that God has given to you, no one can draw them back. No one, no one. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray tonight, we come against all the power of darkness that may want to draw any of our new convert back to the world. In the name of Jesus, it does say we surely gather, but because the gathering is not unto him, it will scatter them. We scatter their activities right now. Every gang up of hell will come against them right now. Anyone or group of individuals that wants to draw any of our new convert back to the world will come against them right now by the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new converts back to the world. We stand against them right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, none of our new converts will return back to their vomit. In the name of Jesus, none of our new converts will return back to the world. They are safe. They will remain safe. In the name of Jesus, they shall be planted in this house. In the name of Jesus, is someone praying tonight? Let heaven hear your voice. Pray a prayer that must be answered. Pray with faith in your heart tonight. Call on to Jesus tonight who is ready to answer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new convert back to the world in the name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Pray, pray. Let heaven hear you right now. You can pray in your understanding tonight. You can pray in the Holy Ghost. Make sure your heart is connected tonight. Le paria que sa. Ne kerea ke taliga, rakatage braliato zaparea luna, re ke tagi leanu, re para katagi ka sociala, le kareano sara, re paroa ke tagi galuano sa, re a perua ke taka, re a katabrale zosiake, ye katala, in the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that may want to draw any of our new converts back to the world. In the name of Jesus, we stand against them. By the authority that is given to us, Nekaka, Reaka Zosia, Re Paraka Taliaru, Re Pariake Taliga, Yedna no Bralia Tesa, Ye Ketalira. Let's begin to appreciate God. He has answered our prayer again tonight. Father, we thank you because all powers of hell are destroyed against every of our new converts in the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. We shall be rising to pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, visit every cell location provider and those coming on board with the obedient order of blessings. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 6 at verse 11, and the hack of the Lord continued in the house of Obedidom for three months, and the Lord blessed Obedidom and his household. Please rise tonight as we pray together, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus. Visit every cell location provider. Visit every cell location provider and those coming on board with the obeyed order of blessings. Somebody lift your voice tonight and pray this prayer that must be answered. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Visit every cell location provider. Visit every cell location provider and those coming on board. With the obedient order of blessings, let there be a visitation for every cell location provider 
and all those coming on board with the Obededom order of blessings. Lift your voice tonight and pray intensely. Pray fervently. You can pray in the spirit. You can pray in your understanding. Say, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, visit every cell location provider. Visit every cell location provider. And all those coming on board with the Obededom order of blessings. Let there be an Obededom order of blessing visitation for every cell location provider. And all those coming on board, lift your voice tonight. You can pray in the spirit. You can pray in your understanding. Be fervent in your engagement. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, visit every cell location provider. And all those coming on board with the Obededom order of blessings. Let them be visited with the Obededom order of blessings. You visited Obededom and his entire household. You turned their story around. Therefore we pray for every cell location provider. Let there be a visitation. Let there be a visitation. Let there be a visitation with the Obededom order of blessings. Somebody lift your voice tonight and pray. You can pray in the spirit. You can pray in your understanding. Let heaven hear you. My father, in the name of Jesus Christ, visit every cell location provider and all those coming on board with the Obededom order of blessings. Visit every cell location provider and all those coming on board with the obeyed um, order of blessings. You can pray in the Holy Ghost if you can tonight. Let's celebrate in the Latino. Zomin tapalia de dos chapania. Radesco tini balane meria. Ramde zuzele meria barandosh. Reketo zidinia. Visit every cell location provider. With the obeyed um, order of blessings. Visit them Lord. Visit them, Lord, everyone coming on board. Visit them, O oh God, with the obeyed um, order of blessings. Let them have a change of story. Let them have a change of level. Let them have a change of situation. Somebody lift your voice tonight. Pray intensely. Pray fervently. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Visit every cell location provider and those coming on board with the obeyed um, order of blessings. Let's the Padiaba, Rabbinus to the Brindis Shataliaba, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Visit every cell location provider and all those coming on board with the obeyed um, order of blessings. Lift your voice some more. Someone pray. Let heaven hear your voice tonight. Pray in the spirit. Pray in your understanding. Lift your hands and give him the praise. Father, thank you for hearing. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Please listen to this faith tabernacle announcement for this service. Number one, praise the Lord. We are all reminded that our kingdom care covenant commitment is still ongoing. This is a platform for members to bear one another's burden. The kingdom care covenant platform includes provision of non-perishable food items, clothing, housing, health care and educational aid. The collection centers have been expanded to include all our WSF area facilities. Those with items for distribution can take them to their area facilities between Monday to Saturday each week. Furthermore, those who desire to bring theirs to Kenalan on Sunday will be able to do so after each service at designated collection tents. Those who want to sow financially towards this can use the Kingdom Care Covenant account displayed 
during the offering or check the church website for details. Every Saturday, distribution centers will, will distribute those who require them following lay down modalities. Number two, praise the Lord. To the glory of God, God's people in this church have been so committed to helping pay the way of fellow brethren to and from the church services via the zona transportation arrangement. May the Lord continue to bless such individuals and their household in the name of Jesus. We are all admonished to continue to take advantage of this platform to see to the sustenance of the spiritual well-being of members of every winner. As we do, expect God to continue to reward us openly in Jesus' name. Number three, praise the Lord. Leadership Empowerment Summit for April comes up this Saturday at all our areas and district facilities across Lagos and Ota. All pastors, ordained workers, zonal ministers and assistants, all cell ministers, assistants and secretaries, zonal fellowship committee members, all service unit leaders are expected to be in attendance. Everyone expected should endeavor to honor God with their presence in this prophetic service and the time is 7 a.m. To this end, the covenant hour of prayer shall not hold tomorrow, Saturday. Number four, praise the Lord. Be reminded that our employment portal is up and running with great responses. Please visit the site as displayed on the screen to register. Number five, praise the Lord. Share your live testimonies at the services Sunday midweek and WSF testimonies shared are preserved. As WSF shared testimonies, as testimonies shared are preserved, multiplied, and perfected. You can also share your testimonies online as the links displayed on the screen. Number six, praise the Lord. Special Healing Miracles Service hosts this coming Sunday at the Faith Tabernacle, Kenalan. Come expecting your own testimonies in Jesus' name. And time is 11.45 a.m. Number seven, Winner Satellite Fellowship, our house-to-house -house fellowship hosts this coming Saturday at all our WSF centers across Lagos and Ota. Remember that we shall be praying for one another. Invite a neighbor to partake in this fellowship time. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. For all our new converts and new members, please note that we do not collect offerings at our home cell meetings. And number eight, good news. Next Sunday, the April 7, 2024, shall be a financial fortune banquet. Riches is one of the seven food redemptive packages secured for us by his resurrection. Therefore, in this service, God shall be terminating every siege of financial stress, turmoil, struggles, frustration, lack, and want once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. Come expecting an encounter with the prophetic word in this prophetic service. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come along with your converts, invitees, and other loved ones for an encounter of a lifetime. There shall be three services, and the times are 6 a.m., 7.55 a.m., and 9.50 a.m. Jesus is Lord. One more time, let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. In this service tonight is testimony time. Let's please listen to these documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, supernatural turnaround after returning. In November, God connected me back to this commission. And in that service, I had an encounter with the world. 
Bishop David Oyibo said, Never mind your mockers, face your maker. Thereafter, I keyed into all the instructions from the altar. Three days later, God connected me to my God ordained spouse. You can make that hand bigger for the Lord. Meanwhile, I was without job, but in January, God gave me a new job. If you're clapping, make it bigger for the Lord. Then on Easter Sunday, the bishop said that we shall have a post-resurrection encounter. I believe strongly in that and ask God to give me a birthday gift before or during my birthday. Lo and behold, someone I had not spoken with for a very long time called and said he would sponsor my master's program. Since I came back to this commission, things have been working in my life with great speed. I give glory to God. The testifier is causing Gladys. Let's celebrate Jesus Christ. <laughs> Number two, miracle job via kingdom advancement endeavors. In 2017, I was laid off from work, and since then, I've been trusting God for another job. At some point, I was frustrated and almost fell into depression. Meanwhile, I have not been serious with the outreach operations until 2023. In February, when Bishop David Lebo de declared the first phase of the operation, I keyed into it with all my heart. I prayed kingdom adoption and prayers, shared flyers and tracts, and invited people to church. When the operation ended in March, it was as if nothing changed, but I was not deterred because I knew that what, once my cloud was full, my blessing will surely rain down. Thereafter, as soon as the bishop declared operation by all means, in the midst of the year, I knew the time for my visitation had finally come. I engaged in all of the morning and evening raid, continued going out to invite people to church. Then God showed up. I was recommended for a job I did not apply for. I went for the interview and was immediately employed. I returned all the praise to God. The testifier is a desire you. For these great acts of God and testimony of Jesus, let's celebrate him in our city position. Shortly we shall be rising again to pray. And this time we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. A stronger and louder, amen. Numbers 11, verse 31. And there went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side, and as it were a day's journey on the other side. Shall we please rise as we raise our voices tonight, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost Come down as a mighty rushing wind, thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Someone raise your voice as we engage tonight. We are praying with fervency. We are praying with passion. We are demanding of the Father that the Holy Ghost will come down as a mighty rushing wind, thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into the faith tabernacle this coming Sunday. Someone raise your voice as we engage with faith, as we engage with passion, as we engage with fervency of heart, demanding of the Father that in the name of Jesus the Christ let the Holy Ghost come down the Lord of the harvest himself, let him come down as a mighty rushing wind thereby drafting 
unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday from all across the 92 areas of Lagos, Otani, and Baron. Let multitudes of men and women and children be drafted into the faith tabernacle this coming Sunday. Someone raise your voice and show your engagement with the whole of your heart and show your engagement fervently tonight. You are praying in the spirit. You are praying in your understanding. You are making the demand on the Father tonight for the outpouring of the spirit as a mighty Russian way, the irresistible wind of the spirit. Let it come down across our harvest faith. In the name of Jesus the Christ, drafting unprecedented multitudes into the churches coming Sunday. Men, women, and children drafted in, in their droves. In the name of Jesus the Christ, let the Holy Ghost come down as it was on the day of Pentecost. Our Father, let this coming Sunday, let it be another Pentecost by reason of the influx of multitudes. Unprecedented men, women, and children in their multiplied thousands into the first service, the second service, the third service, even in the special healing miracle service in the name of Jesus the Christ. Someone ensure you're engaging, you're praying fervently, you're praying with all intentionality and purpose and make a party on the natural social in the name of Jesus the Christ. Let cities be emptied into the faith of Banakoda Sunday. Let towns be emptied, let villages and amulets be emptied into the faith of Banakoda coming Sunday by the ministry of the Holy Ghost as a mighty Russian wave across our harvest faith in the name of Jesus the Christ. Somebody pray some more. Engage your heart. Engage your passion. You are praying in the spirit. You are praying in your understanding. Demanding for the influx of multitudes unprecedented such as eyes have not seen in the name of Jesus the Christ. Akaparadeneketerianato now raise your hands to him. Let us begin to appreciate him. Let us give him thanks and give him praise. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Please give the Lord a big round of praise and be seated. Next, we'll be rising to pray. We're saying, Father. We decree heat free movement for all worshippers and perfect weather conditions, resulting in the continuous ingathering of multitudes into our services this Sunday. A loud amen. amen. Philippians chapter 2 at verse 10. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Please rise with me tonight. Let's lift up our voice as we make a decree. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, will decree hate free movement for all worshippers and perfect weather conditions resulting in continuous ingathering of multitudes into our services this Sunday. The Bible says it shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Father, tonight by the authority in the name of Jesus, we decree hate free movement for all worshippers. We decree perfect weather conditions resulting in continuous ingathering of multitudes into our services this Sunday. In the name of Jesus, we decree heat free movement for all worshippers. Let all rules leading to Kinalan be free from all encumbrances. In the name of Jesus, we decree tonight heat free movement for all worshippers coming to Kinalan and perfect weather conditions resulting in continuous ingathering of multitudes into our services this Sunday. The Bible declared that the name of Jesus every knee must bow tonight we decree heat free movement no traffic jam we decree free flow of traffic on all routes leading to Kinalan from every nook and cranny of the towns and villages coming to Kinalan from all our areas all our catchment areas father tonight we decree heat free movement for all worshipers and perfect weather conditions resulting in continuous in gathering of multitudes into our services this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus, no traffic jam, every road and route leading to Kinalan, free flow of traffic. In the name of Jesus, it's free movement. It's free movement for all worshipers in the first, the second, and the third services. In the name of Jesus, 
and perfect weather condition. No scorching sun, no drop of rain, no contrary wind. This coming Sunday, every worshiper coming in shall not be disturbed. We lay siege and hold to every element of weather. Behave in the name of Jesus and we decree perfect weather condition. Free flow of traffic, heat free movement. This coming Sunday, in the name of Jesus. And let this result in the continuous gathering of multitudes into our services this Sunday. Our Father, we decree heat free movement for all worshipers and perfect weather conditions, resulting in continuous gathering of multitudes into our services. This coming Sunday, Lake Tamananta, E Prekete Lake Dusku Preketalanda, Ele Monshande Kete Boranda Lianda, Papanta Neka Namananto, E Prekete Lina, Hit Free Movement and Perfect Weather Conditions. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. time we shall rise to pray. This time we sing, Father, draft record-breaking multitudes into our financial fortune banquet services this coming Sunday. And grant every worshiper definite encounter with your word, resulting in hair-tingling testimonies. Revelation 5, 12. Saying with a loud voice, what is a lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Shall we please rise, lift our voice and say, Father, draft record-breaking multitudes into our financial fortune banquet services this coming Sunday. And grant every worship a definite encounter with your word, resulting in hair tingling testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ, our Father draft record breaking multitudes into our financial fortune banquet services this coming sunday and uh, grant every worshiper definite encounters with your word resulting in your tingling testimony somebody lift your voice uh, and pray this one line prayer this night uh, father draft record breaking multitudes into our financial fortune banquet services this coming sunday from every locality every city every community draft oh lord record breaking multitudes uh, into our financial fortune banquet services this coming sunday in the name of jesus and as you bring them oh god grant everyone worshiper definite encounters unforgettable encounters with your word resulting in here think of breaking multitudes uh, into our financial fortune banquet services this coming sunday in the name of jesus and grant every worshiper definite encounters with your word uh, resulting in here tingling testimonies uh, in the name of jesus let no one that comes into that service return the same in the name of jesus let everyone that shall gather into the financial fortune banquet service this coming sunday have a definite encounter with your word resulting in here tingling testimony for each and every one in the name of Jesus Christ our God and our Father draft record breaking multitude from everywhere from far from near from Lagos from altar from all the environs in the name of Jesus let them come in their multitudes let them come in their droves let them come everyone everywhere running into the services this coming Sunday and as they come grant each one who God a definite encounter with your word and not forgettable encounter with your word resulting in your tingling testimony La Rossi Parante Ketaya Razubre Ketakeria Dakataga Zeke Pakataga Dagadagadatu Semaleantu Prekatazua draft record breaking multitudes of God into our financial fortune banquet services this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus and grant every worshiper definite encounter with your word resulting in here tingle testimony. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Le Marota Parusi and Kantaya Baraba. Nakota Brezi Atayaba. Now lift your hands and give God thanks because He has had us. Father, we thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please celebrate Jesus and be seated.
in a moment we are going before the Lord and this time we are presenting our personal supplications unto him. And as we do that tonight, we are reminded of his word in John 16 and verse 24. Jesus speaking. He said, He that you have asked nothing in my name. Now ask that you may receive and that your joy may be full. Tonight, as you go before the Lord, presenting your desires, your expectations, it shall be delivered into your hands. Take any position now that will help your focus in prayer and begin to express your desire before the Lord in faith. Remember, we have the opportunity to prioritize the kingdom, particularly in this season of post-resurrection visitation. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart and do that in faith tonight.
Now lift your hand, lift your voice, and let's begin to give thanks unto God tonight. I appreciate him for the answers he has given to us on the altar of prayer. Thank him from the depth of your heart is worthy of praise. You have called on him, he has heard you. He has answered you and now he's shown you great and mighty things. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise and glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated in his presence. Praise the Lord. Right now in this service tonight, it's offering time. So shall it be for us all in Jesus' name. Let's make that amen louder. Amen. Therefore, properly package right now your worship seed and label it properly as we get set right now. Remember, you can give in cash, well packaged in an envelope, and clearly label. You can also write check for your seed tonight in honor of Faith Tabernacle Canaan Land. You can as well take advantage of any of our electronic giving platforms. Please check the screen. You'll find all the information you require concerning that right now. Praise God. As we give tonight, our anchor scripture shall be from the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. The Bible tells us very clearly, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Can I hear a loud amen? amen. Press down. Shaking together and running over, he says, shall men give into your bosom. No matter the financial calamities in our world today, God will give you an eye financial rest. From every form of financial frustration, we shall all be exempted. Please rise upon your feet and take your seat right now in your hand. Lift it up unto God. Thank him. Bless him. Praise him. Glorify his name. Thank him for putting seed in your hand. And thank him because as you saw this seed tonight, you are reaping financial rest on all fronts. Glorify his name and worship him. Father, we thank you and we worship your majesty. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please keep your seat lifted. Father, in the name of Jesus, in obedience to your word, we have come with financial seed to sow into this kingdom earth. Thank you for accepting our seed. For every giver tonight, no more financial frustration. With this seed, Lord, grant every giver financial rest. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Make that amen a louder one. Please take your seat, cast your seat with joy, and let's welcome the praise team as the minister. No limits, no limits, no boundaries, no boundaries. I see increase I see all around me. No limits, no 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 boundaries, no I see increase all around me. Stretch for.
lift up our two hands to heaven. Shall we lift our two hands to heaven and give God thanks? We are taking what belongs to you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. When the last days, when the days of great restoration of the beauty and the call of the redeemed, for all the years we have lost to ignorance. And my people shall eat in plenty. They have suffered scarcity all along. They shall be satisfied. And my people shall never be ashamed. We are in the days of the restoration of the glory of the saints. May each one be awake to partake of this glorious time. In the name of Jesus. May each one, may each one be awake Amen. to be a bona fide partaker Amen. of this awesome season. Amen. Lord, I'm here again tonight. Open my eyes. Amen. To behold wondrous things out of thy law. Open my eyes. To behold wondrous things out of thy law. Open my eyes tonight, Jesus, to behold wondrous things out of thy law. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Just like no degree of darkness can stop the way against light. So walking in the light of scriptures secures the future. Clears the barriers away on their own accord. Light shows up, darkness bows out. No argument. Get back home tonight, get to your bedroom, ask your toddler to put on the light. Darkness will fade. The age of the one that turns it on, notwithstanding. So darkness is not our problem. Absence of light is our problem. Arise, shine, in spite of the darkness, as the light comes. Darkness shall cover the people and gross darkness. Everyone. But with light, the Lord shall arise upon you and glory shall be seen upon you. Your time to manifest his glory is finally here. Yeah. Your time to manifest his glory is finally here. Yeah. Your time and your turn, your turn, your turn to manifest his glory is finally here. Your turn. I said your turn. To manifest his glory is finally here. As we encounter light, darkness will bow. His glory will be made manifest. His glory will show up. His glory will show up. It's not only your time, it is now your turn. It's not only your time, it is now your turn. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Jesus, thank you. We believe you are still very much here in our midst, in your resurrected form. Thank you for making yourself manifest. And tonight we are here again. Open every heart, as you did the heart of Lydia, to attend to your word, to the point of encounter, to the point of encounter, in the name of Jesus.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Please get seated. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Walking in the covenant of supernatural blessings. God made a covenant of supernatural blessings with Abraham. And by redemption, we are the seed of Abraham. Though that covenant pertains to us. Because he could swear by no, no greater, he swore by himself. Saying, in blessing, I will bless you. Multiplying the will multiply their seed. At the sound of the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gates of the enemy. And in thy sea shall all the families of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. Obedience is what secures sworn blessings on believers. Not waiting, not hanging on. Raw obedience. All is out obedience. Obedience to the full. Obedience to the end. That was what secure a sworn blessing for Abraham. And if you're Abraham seed, you do the works of Abraham. I was having some humor with the Lord today. He said, just like breathing is to live in. So obedience is gateway to all of my blessings for you. When you suspend your obedience, you have suspended your breathing. And God have mercy. No reason under heaven is tenable for disobedience in the sight of God. If you hearken to my voice and observe to do my commandments, all these blessings shall come to you and overtake you. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice Now, move down now to 14 and see what happens. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the worlds which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken to the word of the Lord thy God to do this commandment and to this commandment as the statutes which are commanded in this day, that all these causes, no neutral place, you turn your back on my word, I turn your back on you, I turn my back on you. You engage with my word in obedience of faith. You have provoked my blessings. You refuse to. You have invoked my wrath. All through scriptures, the blessing of God usually trace the obedience of believers. God's blessings always trace the obedience of believers. Where our obedience stops is where his blessing stops.
The same way you don't suspend your breathing, don't suspend your obedience. Life in the kingdom thrives on obedience. Christ, a perfect example, was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, wherefore God also has highly exalted him. We look for so many short courses. Isaiah 59, verse 8, that we of peace they know not. There is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth there they shall know no peace. I think, I suppose, you know, circumstances, situations, they are all over me. The way of peace they know not. There's no judgment in their goings. Come on now, let's check. Why am I going through distress? Is this God's agenda for me in this world? What am I required to do to get out of this? There is no sort in them. Well, if that's what the way God wants me to live my life, so be it. Let's go. The covenant of wealth in the kingdom is a covenant of equality. Equality, sir. It's a covenant of equality. We have same and equal access. No racial discrimination. No professional advantage. Stop that. The covenant of profession are not in the same class. You know, I belong to one of the most lucrative. Who told you? When did you measure it? When I was still involved in studying the wealth uh, climate around the world, I stumbled on one thing one time where the wealthiest man in the world was in furniture business. Wealthiest. What a lucrative business. No, it's, it's not about it's not about it's not about living in one country and another. You know, things are just looking up in a country where we live. Well done. Yeah, people are dying of poverty there right now. Let's, let's look up to Jesus. Things are coming beyond what man can handle with his skill and capacity. Let's go back to the one who has the answer. The covenant of wealth emphasizes equality. That there be equality. I mean, the as God has blessed everyone, even so let him give. Tithe is a covenant of equality. If I have 10,000, my tithe is 1,000. There's no debate. There's no calculus. Simple. If I have 100 naira, I mean, 10 naira is my tithe. You don't need anybody to start the present calculator. My grandmother gave me the most profound, I believe, definition I ever had on tithing. I wasn't saved. I just simply asked her, what is the money you come to church every, morning, every Sunday morning? She said, that is God's portion that makes the remainder meaningful. Come and say tithe. That's the mission of tithing. God's portion that pulls his blessings on the remainder. And the blessings make it rich and that's no sorrow. God's portion for what? No, no, no. Even I'm going through stress right now. Even God knows. God is now saying, okay, hey, oh boy, this is the way out of the stress we are going through. I don't agree. Okay. Now we're done. All through scriptures, the covenant of seed time and harvest has proved to be the gateway to a world of supernatural blessings. No shortcut. Why the earth remaineth? Seed time and harvest shall not see. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. It is that giveth thee power to get wealth. 
So as to establish his covenant, as well as thy fathers, I see this day. So Deuteronomy 8 18 is an interpretation of, Deuteronomy, of Genesis 8 and verse 22. That's the covenant he saw with our fathers. That the earth will no longer be destroyed, but will now operate on the platform of seed time and harvest. You want an harvest full tomorrow, then have a seed full season today. We have this well captured in um, Second, Chronic, Second Corinthians 9 and verse 6. This I say, he which sweats sparingly shall also live sparingly. He which sweat bountifully shall also live bountifully. And so everyone has a prophet. So let him Every man according to his purpose, let him give. Not grudgingly, no necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Can I have you say with me, God is never a need. If he ever had needs, I'll be the least qualified to be consulted. Never give in your life as meeting God's need in your life. Who are you am I? He said, if I were hungry, we'll have asked you. The thousand rounds over the thousand, he's their mind. God does not need any storage. He creates whatever he wants. He says it and they're created. Many years ago, 1987, the Lord said to me, Tell them, I was going for a conference then, that I, the Almighty God, will not depend upon the Richard forces, but that the Richard forces depend on me for flourishing. I told them directly. Maybe some were angry, I don't know. I didn't check their heart. God is saying, look, I don't need your help. I want to help you. This is the way you can assess my help. Acknowledge what is in your hand as from me. You have committed me to supply more and more in your direction. I see tithing as an acknowledgement of receipt. Lord, I saw the bountiful blessings you sent my way. And here is my covenant acknowledgement. Just to say, I received it and I thank you for it. He said, hey, okay. Get ready for more. It's an acknowledgement of his blessings in your life and my life. Some founders and senior ministries and all that have a problem with it. They think that members are the ones to give. No. The covenant of seed and harvest applies to everyone interested in harvest. So it's no wonder that many pastors are beggars and they are funders. God's covenant is no respect of persons. God's covenant is no respect of persons. God's covenant is no respect of, pers no respect of persons. But to help our understanding, the Bible commands or recommends or admonishes that we follow them who have inherited the promises by doing what they are asking you to do. Find out if it has brought about any visible changes in their life. You may never have to sit down with them in your life, but you can read about them and what became of them and where they're coming from.
I never sat with young Ito once before he went to heaven. But young Ito's biological, whether molecular or otherwise, history, an adventure is inside this man. By reading of his personal work with God, that is also what he experienced. I'd never met Copeland one on one in my life when God visited me so mightily through his ministry. Therefore, be ye not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Don't be slothful. They worked it out. They worked it out. What about redemption offers and manifests in our life is worked out. It's a work out your own salvation. Work out your own salvation. They worked it out before it began to work. They put it to work to see it work. They put it to work till they begin to see it work. What is missing in most cases today is the lack of consistency in our covenant work. The covenant is not a press button system. It's an adventure. What before me? I know let's have a covenant with you. That's what God said to Abraham. And when Abraham was 90 years old, the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, I'm the Almighty God. Walk before me or walk with me and be thou perfect. What happens in verse 2? And I will make my covenant. I will my covenant with you. We multiply the exceeding. You come on a walk. Come take an adventure with you. Not a banking system. I have this saving, I have this interest. It's a work. Who through faith and patience inherited the promises? I had a visitation that where I screamed, Yay, I can never be poor. That didn't bring me from where I was to anything overnight, it was a long trek. A long trek of unabated, delightsome obedience to what he says to do. It was a long trek. It was a long trek. After all that mighty visitation, my salary was 300 a month. It was a long trek. Is God asleep? No. He said, come, take an adventure with me. Come take an adventure with me. There's a story of a man that simply illustrates this by name J.C. Penny. He's going, to, he's going to glory today. He was a titan young entrepreneur and things began to look up. It was changing level, changing level. At a point, he said, hey, this title is looking too voluminous. Let's start to rationalize. And he began to rationalize his business without knowing. It was going down and down and down. Well, it's just the weather. It's just the climate. It's the currency exchange. It was just going down and down until he was back down on the ground, bankrupt. Oh, God! Remember that we are falling. <sighs> Weeping will change it too. Start from your bankruptcy state if you're interested in climbing your way back. He did. Once beaten to exercise forever. A tight addict. Many don't often find out where their trouble is. It's not blaming one woman 
that I dreamt yesterday night, there was one woman that fought my mother. 19, I was three years old. He looked at me and said, all of you won't do well. That's my problem. Otherwise, there is no point in me. My career is sound. I'm sound. I'm an excellent student, excellent graduate, excellent worker. Yet they sack me. <laughs> they say, why? The woman. Where is the woman? He has died. Then you are in trouble because how do you... <laughs> But when you are in Christ, you are a new creature. All things are passed away. All those old wife fables, they are stories of ignorance. But you have escaped. Amen. I say you have escaped. Amen. Tonight is your night of escape. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Among those that obtain the inheritance of abundance is the Philippian church. They were a tireless giving church. Philippians 4 and verse 15. Now you Philippians know that in the beginning of the gospel, When I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. Now, for in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. Not once and for all, once. And again. Not once when you hear the word or the teachings on giving, once and again. Not the time when you are in need that you need the majesty supply, once and again. The Philippian church was a tireless giving church, once and again. Your church as a body is a tireless giving church. Once and again, a percentage of our income worldwide goes into maintenance services. Once and again, so much goes on healthcare. Once and again, yeah, we have a healing ministry, but now you are injured, you are attacked by robbers. You need your wound to be healed. Once and again. During the Kedja bomb plans of some years back, the people said that that was the largest material thing they received since the World War, I mean, since the Nigerian Civil War. That is, we got Red Cross beaten to it with a heart for God once and again. There are grace upon churches. There are graces upon churches that we are called to follow. Once and again. They understood giving as the covenant gateway to spiritual blessings. And they demonstrated it. Sacrificial giving was their lifestyle. It says in Philippians 4, 18, it said, But I have all, and abound, and full, having received of a Jesus, the things which are sent of you, and odor of a sweet, sweet, sweet smell, are sacrifice, acceptable, and well pleasing to God. They were not giving leftovers. They were giving their substance. 
and honor the Lord with thy substance, not left over. And the first fruit of all thy increase. Then shall thy hand, thy shall burn, shall be filled with plenty, and thy vast shall overflow with new wine and oil. Theirs was a sacrificial church with sacrificial given as a lifestyle. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. There was a mouth free with laughter and a tongue with singing. It became the talk of the town. The Lord has done great things for them. Began to respond openly with glory to God. God has done great things for us. We are, we are glad. <laughs> turn again, our God. We have found the way He turns. <laughs> he that went forth weeping or bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing. Again, in Jesus' name. The altar of sacrifice is the altar of turnaround. They are given committed God to supply all their needs according to switches in glory. But my God shall supply all of your needs. Not limited to financial at this time. Your need for protection. Your need for healing, health, and wholeness. According to switches in glory. My God shall supply all your needs. You are a once and again practicing covenant practice in church. My God shall supply all your needs. You don't just give leftovers. You offer substances and sacrifices in your givings. All your needs. As many as are prepared for it, will hit that realm of fortune this year from which you will never recover. So start from where you are. Start from where you are. Oh, I wish I started. No, no. Start now. Start now. Let me close by reading these prophetic scriptures to you from Ezekiel 18 and verse 21 to 24. Ezekiel 18. But if the wicked will turn from his sins that he has committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. He shall not die. All these transgressions that has committed they shall not be mentioned unto him. In his righteousness that he has done, he shall live. They praise God. Amen. Yeah. Now, have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Say the Lord. I know that he should repent from his ways and live. But when the righteous, now come in, turns away from his righteousness, and begins to commit iniquity and does according to all the abominations that the wicked man does, shall he live? All this righteousness, he has suspended it. <laughs> that he has done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass, that he has trespassed, and the sin that he has committed, in them shall he die. I will forget all that he ever did. I know when God used to bless me, find out what you are doing that made him to bless you. I don't know what happened. You should know what happened. What were you doing that time that connected you to his blessings? Check out. Check it out. You must have departed or adjusted. <laughs> now, Lord, you know, our church is quite far all the way in Canaan land. For today, it's about this amount from my place in... Uh, Ajao Estate. 
fuel to and fro is this. Cost of wear and tears on tires is this. Cost of maintenance per month is this. You now subtract it from your tight. <laughs> that what they call tight adjustment. <laughs> it's an auditing system of the end time. So you adjust. You no, know, I carry about two, three people anytime I'm going to church. Now, transfer from here to that place is 500. 500. 500. Since they won't pay, I've removed it from the tight. <laughs> They say police is looking for you. You now are hiding on your chair in the office. You are too easy to pick. <laughs> they say, no, police, I'm not here. Okay. Whether you are here or not, when you get to our vehicle, you will know. Better check it. Every adjustment of the truth is disobedience. Every. So for businessmen not to know what they make is not proper. We have the mind of Christ. He's given us a sound mind. My old woman who never went to school, my grandmother never went to school, knew her tight. And then you say, you eat, you say, you eat, you say, you don't know what happened to your capital. You... The capital is inside you. You ate your entire capital. Some of you have eaten, some people, not here in church, by the grace of God, some have eaten 10 story buildings. <laughs> by the time they do analysis of his body, there are story buildings inside him. Time to be awake of the righteousness. God said, I will not remember the right things you did. In the wrong thing you did, you find yourself in trouble. You can't afford to suspend obedience. It's like suspending your breath. It's a risk. It's disastrous. Now, verse 25 of the same chapter, as we, pull, as we round up, Ezekiel 18, 25. Yet he said, the way of the Lord is not equal. Here, O house of Israel, is not my way equal, and not your ways unequal. He said, let me tell you again. When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness, who turned the most of you, and committed iniquity, and died, died in them, for his iniquity that he has done, shall he die? And again, when the wicked man turns away from his wickedness that he has committed and breath that which is lawful and right shall save his soul alive. So it's no games. Now grace to keep walking in obedience of faith to the terms of the covenant of abundance that keeps a man flourishing in hard times Receive it right now. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the prosperity of this church is headache to the devil. Headache. So he must be walking against it day and night. Why is he not walking? Darkness can succeed walking against light. No. <laughs> no. In the same vein, no force from hell will stop your walking in fortune as you keep walking in the covenant. No force of hell can stop you walking in fortune as you keep walking in the covenant. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. End time prophecies are no threats. 
that the unveiling of heaven's agenda for the end time, the one who created the end knew what the end contains. So it's time to take over. Let's take over in the covenant against the horrible days, the days of horror that are with the world in which we live. We days are not coming, they're already here. They're only venting their venoms and faces. There shall be famines and pestilences in diverse places. But covenant blessings make a rich and it adds no sorrow. So you can feel it. You won't know that in your family. You won't know that in your family. The love of Ben Shawasco, so keep building your love from face to face. Amen. Keep building your love from face to face to a point where for you to live is Christ and to die is gain. And you are settled. When I come, shall I find faith on the earth? Keep building your faith. Keep building your faith from principles into realm of mysteries. Keep building your faith. Weak faith can't stand the storms of life. Abraham was strong in faith, giving glory to God. You can't get at the best that covenant requires without strong faith. Strong faith. And unyielding faith. And unbending faith. Faith that's stronger than death. We close by this. Mind these two vital instructions. Returns on our seed, on our seed sown, demand that we give without anxieties. Give confidently, restfully. God never lies. He never deceives. Don't give with apprehension. It will amount to doubt. Whatever is not of faith is sin. Abraham was fully persuaded. Be fully persuaded. That what God has said, he's also able to perform. Stop giving with apprehension. It never flies. A double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. Let him not think he shall receive anything from God. Number two, keep giving cheerfully. For God loves a cheerful Where joy stops is where your harvest stops. All the harvest of the field will perish when joy withers from your heart. Joy chapter 1 and verse 12. Keep giving cheerfully to the near around you as you are privileged. In advance of the kingdom of God as you are enabled. Don't try to prove to God. He knows your size. <laughs> he knows your size. We have quite some abuse in the body of Christ today. Borrow not a few. No, not for God. Come to you to borrow for him. He told you, thou shalt not borrow. I'll bless you. You lend to nations. So is that what we send to go and borrow? And finally, start from where you are. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. Lift up your right hand 
and give God thanks. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks for light. As you enlist in the once and again covenant practice, covenant adventure with God. We sacrifice becoming your new lifestyle, your covenant walk with God. Give him thanks and do that in words. Give that, do that in words. Do that in words. He's listening. We do thank him for light. For that light to be impactful and effectual in your life. Thank God for it. Thank God for showing me through the example of the Philippian church how to walk in abundance in all seasons. With answer to your supplies, according to your riches and glory, or the economy death of the earth. Give him thanks. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everyone. Now, if you are in this service tonight, whether on Grand here, in Canaan land, or any of our viewing centers across Lagos and Otter, or around the world with your private devices, how can I Enter into that covenant. The journey begins with Noah. Wealth is part of our redemptive heritage in Christ. It became poor that we who are saved can be made rich through his poverty. John 8 9, 2 Corinthians 8 9. And Revelation 5 12. On rising from dead, he obtained for us a sevenfold redemptive heritage listed in Revelation 5.12, which includes power, riches, my God, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, blessings. If you check that very well, you find out that the word riches, the word honor, the word glory, the word blessings has to do with our social well being. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His righteousness endured forever. In the hand of wisdom is riches and honor. Glory connotes a demonstration of God's favor, a lavishing of God's favor an individual. So he obtained for us an inheritance that secures our social well-being on the earth. So it's not our ambition, it's our birthright. You are here tonight to want to say, Jesus, save my soul, forgive my sins. I want to make a turn tonight, like I've heard in the world. I want to make a turn tonight. I don't want to fake it anymore. Or you knew you walk away. You want to walk back to him. Don't go through the back door. Come straight. Jesus, I want to dedicate my life to you. I've tried every other means to make it work. It didn't work. I want to return back home. To you, my heavenly father. And he will receive you. Now, whichever class you fall into of these two, Jesus saved my soul. Jesus, I'm dedicating my life to you. Please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus saved my soul tonight. Rise to your feet. God bless you. Many more are getting up. Wherever you are, get up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. That applies to all of us across the various, various main centers. Now, all of us who are standing up, please be on your way coming. Be on your way coming. Jesus loves you. Be on your way coming. Be on your way coming. Tonight is ordained your night of change. Be on your way coming. Tonight is ordained your night of change. Be on your way coming. Don't let anything hold you back. Jesus loves you so much. And that beyond your wildest imagination. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. 
keep coming. Whosoever comes to me, he said, I will no wise cast out. Please come. Please come. It's your turn for a change of story. Please come. It's your turn for a change of story. Please come. Somebody else from somewhere is standing up. Get up on your feet. Come and make it right with God and escape the calamities of this end time and secure a place in eternity. Keep coming. Keep coming. That applies to all of our brethren in the video of being centers who need to turn, make it right with Jesus tonight. Get, all, get up on your feet and make your way to the front of the altar. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Now, for everyone in front, please bow your heads for prayers. And lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood tonight. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you rose again to justify me. Right now, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are not forgiven. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. By your grace, I shall serve you all through the days of my life. By your grace, I shall make it to heaven at the end of my journey. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now, be blessed in the name of Jesus. I cover each of you with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered against all satanic assaults in the name of Jesus. You'll make it to the end. Grace will leave you a commerce life. Receive it now. Sin shall no more have dominion over you in Jesus' precious name. Congratulations. Please walk this way with the officials and then they take your details and get back on your seat. Shall we all rise, please? Amen. All of God's blessings trace the obedience of believers. Jesus, I've come tonight to partake of your flesh and your blood. Enable me to walk in the fullness of obedience of faith to every commandment of scriptures. Help me to connect with all these of obedience to the terms of the covenant of abundance. I need your help tonight. Go ahead and pray. Let us see what's in your positions. Go ahead and pray. If you eat my flesh, you will live like me. Now I'm here to eat your flesh and empower me to live like you. Empower me to live like you, Jesus. Empower me to live like you. I've come to partake of your flesh. Empower me to live like you. Empower me to live like you. Empower me to live like you. Go ahead and pray. I reject anything that's not like you in my life. Sickness is not in you. Disease is not in you. I reject them all with all my heart tonight. It's a partake of this communion. Flush everything connected to you away from my life. Flush them away from my life. Pray that prayer. There is no oppression in Christ. Oppression must end in your life. You should sleep like a baby from henceforth. No more fighting in your sleep. Jumping across bridges. Your expectation determines his manifestation in your life. Now express your expectation to God. I expect a touch on my being tonight that will lead to a next level turnaround in my covenant work with you. 
So help me, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. We receive this table tonight as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. May each one of us be empowered to walk in the fullness of obedience of faith to every commandment of scriptures and particularly to walk in full obedience to the terms of the covenant of supernatural abundance. Let it be, Lord. Now, whatever is unlike Jesus in any one of us is caused tonight. Amen. Everyone's head is restored. Amen. Every oppression of the devil is over. Amen. Everyone appointed to death has rescued. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Again, this is the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Take it by faith and experience the manifestation of your expectation in Jesus' name. Amen. Please get seated and take your turn as you may be directed.
into the presence of God, into the presence of Jesus. Oh, I am going I am. major victory won in Jesus' name. Lift up those two hands and together let's give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus, for the world tonight. Thank you for the empowerment from the communion table. Thank you for new light. Thank you for new order of grace that released upon my life. Thank you for launching me out of the region of want to the, region, to the realm of abundance. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have given time. Now, next Sunday is a financial fortune banquet. The resurrected Christ will show up and deliver his redemptive package to each one. So come prepared for an encounter with him. When he opens, no man shut. If he opens the door to this revelation to you, no devil can shut it. And when he speaks, he imparts with his word to enable us to do what he has said. So watch out. It was not a heart burning in us when he spoke with us. There will be a burning heart kind of revelation this coming Sunday that will put an end to every air of financial upheaval in your life. In the name of Jesus. Anyone you bring in, you come under the same cloud. Everyone you bring into this service that's not saved, we find salvation here. Everyone say we find their footing in Christ and be free from the fear of the unknown in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow morning is our monthly empowerment, leadership empowerment summit. The time is 7 o'clock. That includes all of us who are in the pastorate, all ordained workers. All WSF ministers, assistants and secretaries, or service unit leaders, and this host in all our district centers. And we have impartation from here. It's going to be quite much shorter than what we used to have because we have another forum that covers all of us across the globe after this one. Jesus is Lord. So get ready to be there, as many as are concerned on that list, in honor of Jesus. He that honors me. 
I will honor. Your time of honor has just arrived. Amen. You won't know shame anymore in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Honoring Jesus becomes your new lifestyle Amen. at all times. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Give your Heavenly Father thanks for doing what he said he would do. For confirming his word in your life. Give him thanks. Lift your voice and give thanks unto God and appreciate him. From the depth of your heart, give him praise. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We glorify you. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of glory. You are worthy of honor. You are worthy of adoration. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you and thank you and thank you, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise and worthy of all the glory for in Jesus. precious name we have given thanks somebody believes say loud amen. amen it is done in Jesus precious name let's share the goodness together surely God's goodness and message shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever amen peace praise God fortune is my portion in 2024 Congratulations, amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go, be blessed. Please pick up the flowers you need and use them to advertise Jesus inviting people to Sunday service. God bless you.